Secret lists of donors to crowdfunding campaigns were used by police and sent to a Canadian Crown Corporation. Farm Credit Canada has a special focus on small family farms. They denied they were freezing accounts, denied they had compiled any list. Yet, here we are, a few short months later, and after a Freedom of Information Act request, uncovered emails show the very opposite. Consequences for customers named in police blacklists included suspension of farm loans, an egregious overreach of political power. Staff emails showed managers were still compiling names of customers five days after Cabinet lifted the Emergencies Act, while employees voluntarily acted as amateur private detectives. The base list was provided by the Ottawa Police Service. If you remember, the Give, Send, Go list of donors was hacked. There is no clarity yet whether or not this data breach was the originating source for the list. I'd like to say thank you to real journalists like Blacklock's reporter in Ottawa who stand up for our country and espouse the values we hold dear at the war campaign, namely honor, accountability, integrity, and loyalty. It's why we say hail freedom. Make sure to share this video out and like and subscribe. Together, we are the media now. Sophie Perot, the agency's chief operating officer, wrote in a now uncovered staff email. If you become aware of potential customer involvement in blockades, occupations, and other supportive activity related to the Freedom Convoy, you must submit a tip to the Customer Diligence Center. Include the customer's name, involvement, date, and any other pertinent details. Please do not complete any investigative work yourself or communicate any information about FCC's approach to customers who voluntarily disclose their involvement. Employees continued to submit tips and investigate their own customers to five days after the Emergency Act was declared over. The spiral of confusion was such that a management email had to stress, we are not asking them to hunt people down and start scouring the net to see if a customer was involved. Has Justin Trudeau's government completed our nation's transition to a country of snitches and cowards? My name is Rohan Kumar Paul. I live in Ottawa with my wife, mother, and five children. If you like this content and you think it'll help get the word out and make a difference, then please share it out. I have a comic book company and that's where the name War Campaign comes from. Media has become degenerate. Films, movies, comics no longer stand for heroic ideals. We decided to do something about it and created the Vestige and Bullet Maker series. We say hail freedom for a reason, because the world needs a little more honor, accountability, integrity, and loyalty. Hail brethren, and hail freedom.